All right, guys, I'm just going to quickly run you through uh, no fire issues on a Mo Cruiser. This is a 7.1 I built for a customer. Uh, ran fine on the stand for a couple of days, came back the next morning, turned the key on, and it wasn't even three, four minutes, and there was a cloud of smoke coming off this coil. And pretty much spent half of my adult hood trying to figure this thing out multiple modules uh, replaced under here so I'm gonna just quickly show you quickly how I managed to find my problem it was the tack wire the tack wire goes uh, into this connector which basically this gray wire is the tack runs through the harness through the back goes into this connector over here and then it plugs into this one and it changes to white and this white uh, runs to the coil over here and it was pretty much creating a short on the on the primary here a dead short so the first thing you can do is just remove this plug from the coil put your multimeter on this white terminal and just see if there's continuity to ground um, and that's all you need to do if it is then what you can do just to get it running again like I did here is um, I just kind of took this off the back of the white connector and I just kind of where is it kind of filed up like a little bit of a pointy spiky tool here just uh, with a almost sharp tip but not so sharp that it's gonna like do too much damage and um, pretty much just like put it in there and um, push the little plastic tab down in there and I was able to pull this out the back and then I plugged this connector back in and it fired up instantly um, so long story short uh, I'm gonna run you through some other scenarios that might be giving you grief all right so here I have a distributor which is identical to this one this is off a four cylinder <coughs> and this is the um, module that sits inside the distributor that these wires connect to and what you need to do is just take the cap off unscrew uh, this and just remove this little guy and there's an ohms reading between these two so the first test you do is put your multimeter to ohms and I think it's 700 to 900 uh, between the two and then also you want to check your continuity between each of these to ground because it has been it has happened that uh, this little pickup coil under here, which is basically these two wires just wound around where the magnets pick up, can chafe or burn through and contact the plate. So if this is grounded, you're going to also have no spark. And to remove this and replace it, you have to knock the pin out of the bottom of the distributor, and there's a washer and a whole bunch of stuff you got to do. It's all in the manual, but all I'm saying is just make sure that neither of these are touching ground and that you have a good resistance uh, between the two tips so that's the first thing is that little pickup coil over here then you got the ignition module over here uh, this is just something I grabbed off eBay uh, there's a lot of different part numbers I think they probably have different uh, timing curves um, but anyways this has been working very well on the Mercruiser 140 or 3.0 and that basically they just sit in here but these can also fail as well in fact you can't really test these uh, what you have to do is test this and you have to test the uh, coil ohms readings and you have to make sure that you've got 12 volts on this and if all those tests pass and this still doesn't work you still have no spark then this is at fault but that is also uh, assuming that your tack wire which is this white one is not shorted to ground which mine was and that knocked my spark out and I've been going in circles for a few days so um, I hope that helps you guys and uh, get back on the water. Thanks for watching.